We are traveling across the country from Northern Idaho to Tampa, Florida. With the hurricanes that hit, there's a lot of cleanup and I just feel like I should go volunteer and help out. So in this video, you're gonna join me on my journey across the country. It's about 42 hours. I'll probably make it there in four days. I'm not gonna do much stopping. Did I think I was gonna be making this trek across the country again this year? No, but here we are. I'm extremely excited to help out. So let's hit the road. I'm also gonna see how much I spend from northern Idaho to Florida. We are officially in Montana and I'm hoping that we get to South Dakota today. But I do want to share some photos that I took in Idaho because while I was there I got to see the northern lights. You couldn't really see it by eye. It was very faint but if you took a photo off of your phone it was absolutely gorgeous and since you couldn't really see it by eye it was kind of fun because you never knew what you were gonna get. So I took so many photos. And then on top of the Northern Lights, there was a comet that you could see and it just looked like a spotlight in the sky. That was really cool. Here is my view right now. We got water over here, the road here. My window's already disgusting. We are at the first stop. I have a little over a quarter of a tank. I'm just gonna fill up. I need to go to the bathroom. I also had a fig bar. I need to throw that away. The drive has been pretty. The leaves are changing. Flathead River looked so calm. I'm gonna run in, go to the bathroom, and then I'll show you how much gas costs. We're at 2862. Windshield is as clean as it's gonna get. I also grabbed two kickstarts. I'm gonna open up one now and save one for tomorrow, but but this was 350. I'm currently in Bozeman, Montana. I just went to the bathroom. I filled up on gas. It was 3217 and now we're back on the road. I have a headache. I'm hungry and I'm about 20 minutes from where I'm going to get food. I've just been listening to music. I do want to start a new Audible book, but I need to find one and I don't want to be looking for one while driving. Sun is setting. Why has Jersey Mike's gotten so expensive? I got a regular size meal. It comes with a regular size sandwich, a bag of chips, and a drink. $15.99. Are you kidding me? Jersey Mike's is really good, but $15.99? I got a number 26. It's the only thing I ever order from Jersey Mike's. It's amazing. It's delicious. It has bacon, chicken, lettuce, ranch, cheese, tomato. This is what it looks like. I'm going to eat this and then figure out how much further I'm going to drive tonight. I made it to where I'm sleeping tonight. I'm still in Montana, but I'm right on the border of Wyoming, South Dakota, that little corner. But I am at a campground tonight. I did stop and fill up my tank before coming to this campground because I just want to make breakfast and be on the road and not have to stop. That total came out to $27.52. I don't know if you can tell, but I am exhausted. So I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you in the morning. It's the next day. This is where I slept last night. You got a little fire pit. And down there, if you can see it, there is a vaulted toilet. And some of the spots have picnic tables. I was gonna make a chai tea and oatmeal this morning, but it's not gonna happen. I'm already two hours behind schedule of when I wanted to leave. Last night, I had some very intense dreams and I don't know what it's called. I know there's a term for it, but where you know you're dreaming and you're trying to wake yourself up, but you can't. And honestly, that's happened to me a handful of times in my vehicle. And it's scary because I'm like, I feel trapped. I don't know how to explain it. And I don't normally like going to campgrounds when it's already dark at night because I like to see my surroundings. In my dream, it was freaking me out even more. Instead of the oatmeal and chai tea, I'm just gonna have a fig bar and later I'll open up that other soda that I got yesterday. We need to hit the road. I made it just in time. The total ended up being 42.12 and then I ran inside to go to the bathroom. And now we're at our first stop today because today and tomorrow there are a few things that we're gonna see a little history and some quirkiness this one is history so let's go see it there's a chunk of the berlin wall i didn't even need a backpack gear up to get some history i went to germany but i didn't go to berlin may peace prevail on earth you can pause to read again you can pause to read all right we're gonna go touch it 
crazy. I also want to point out this is a nice park. And there's a pond you can walk around and bridges. And now we are back on the road. Just a quick little stop. Trying to get to Florida as fast as I can. I made it to the next spot. This is a quirky thing. It says, take a picture with the world's largest jackalope. Interesting. This is so random. This is so cool. These crosses are sick. This is so cute. Hi. Come here. Look at you. Hey, buddy. You got a little bow tie? Huh? Hmm. Wait, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, the detail. This is so sick. Oh my, look at this. That is so cool. Whoa. I don't know what I was expecting, but it definitely wasn't this. This is so cool. I was out at the front and the guy that was carving was like, oh, did you go inside? And I said, no, I didn't have a dollar. I only got a 20 on me. He's like, oh, leave us a review and you can go inside. But I'm making this whole video. This is so cool, the art, the detail. Amazing job. I like these little bunnies. After I came back down to the bottom, I ended up talking to the guy that was working for a little bit. His name's Jonathan. His dog's name is Marley, and he's from South Africa. Super nice. He asked me if I went to the wall drug store. I said, no, I haven't. Is it worth it? And he said, yes, you need to swing by and see it. It's two blocks down. I drove over here. I parked. So let's go in. Here we go. And look at this across the street. It says gold diggers. This is so cool. It's hard to see with the glare. You guys, there's a whole chapel. These boots are so cute. And so are these ones. That was random and fun. I did go into that gold digger store. It's just a bunch of jewelry, but it was all just shops. There was a cafe where you could sit down and eat. There was an ice cream shop. I did not expect to stop as long as I did. This is exactly why you stop and do random things. When I typed in attractions, the only thing that popped up was the Sasquatch wood carving and I clicked on it. I was like, oh, this place looks cool. I did not expect that. And if you've been following along now for a long time, you know I always stop at the world's largest this, the world's largest that. You can just watch my life on the road playlist and see all those things. I'm only gonna stop at one more thing today and then I'm making my way to the campground I'm staying at. Like I was supposed to make breakfast this morning, I was gonna make mac and cheese and Vienna sausage. It's not gonna happen, so whenever I stop for gas, I'll probably also get a late lunch, early dinner. I don't wanna cook in the dark and clean up in the dark. It's not fun. I already don't like arriving to campgrounds in the dark. It's a little hard to see, but we're at the Badlands. It is so windy outside. I didn't enter Badlands National Park. I just found this random dirt road on the outskirts of it. I didn't really want to pay to go in because I wasn't going to be able to cherish my time there. You always just got to go on the back roads. Now I need to get back on the highway and we need to continue this road trip. The lights are still on. <laughs> I thought I clicked it off. Not me risking it for a second time today. Oh my gosh. The sun is setting. I filled up. It costs $39.24. And then for dinner, I have this little pizza and this mango drink. Total costs $7.06. Let's see if it's any good. I'm really not that hungry because I haven't done much. I normally like thin crust, but this will do. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good for being attached to a gas station. I'm going to eat and then get back on the road. It's the next 
next day. My hair is looking crazy, but I have my new outfit on. I'll fix the hair in a minute. But I ended up staying at the Loves. I did fill up my tank the second I got here, and that was $28.66. And then I ran inside to go to the bathroom, and then I got all settled in to my car. And I was trying to figure out why am I struggling to wake up? It just didn't even occur to me that I was changing time zones. <laughs> So yeah, it's been a struggle to wake up and I woke up late again. I'm just gonna see if I can fill my water bottle up with hot water and then bring it back and pour it into my mug and make a little thing of oatmeal. So I filled this up. I have my chai tea and I have my oatmeal sitting and cooking right here. And I forgot I had this. So I'm going to take it out and let it sit over my chai, which I made a pumpkin chai this morning. I let it sit on there for a minute and we're gonna try it that is so good i'm at my first stop for today and it's an amazon locker because i ordered something that's gonna help me sorry i had a sneeze attack so if i sound all stuffy it's because i just sneezed a bunch in a row so i can get different type of shots while i'm filming and since i had a gift card i didn't spend any money the locker's right there let's go and look at that it's 11 11. I literally had the barcode pulled up and I just put it on the screen and the next thing you know, the door opened. I thought I was gonna have to do at least a few more steps. I put my one blind up so you could see, but we're gonna open it together. This is another reason why this gadget would come in handy because I would have been able to make sure I got the clip and I could have had both hands. Why is this so hard to open? But this gadget I got, I can have both my hands free. It's technically for your phone but I can shoot some clips on my phone. And plus when I'm making vertical videos, this will be so nice. It's a little silly looking because it goes on your neck and then place it and it's a magnet and I can have both my hands and it changes angles. I know it's silly, but this is gonna be so nice. I made it to my next destination, which was only 20 minutes from the Amazon locker and it's the world's largest ball of stamps. I told you, I like seeing quirky things like this. That was actually fun. So it's a visitor center and there's a cafe in there, a gift shop, and then obviously the world's largest ball of stamps. But the guy in there was super nice and talkative. And it was cool because you could see there was different stamps throughout the time period. It was very quiet in there, so I was nervous to film. There was also artwork that was made out of stamps, which was really cool. There was a table where you could buy baseball cards and old stamps, which I thought was neat. So you could sit there and pick through and then you could make your own ball of stamps it was three dollars and i was considering getting it because that'd be a fun little thing to do but i don't need it but that was very fun and interesting i love things like that when you go to quirky things like this the people are just extra nice i needed to go to the bathroom so i stopped at the gas station and i just decided i'm gonna top off my tank so i spent 1903 i have been on on and go traffic for the last little bit and I just needed to pull over, stretch my legs and I topped off my tank. I also went to the bathroom and I spent 1951. My legs getting a workout. I did make a stop and go to the bathroom. I just didn't film. I spent $30 and 30 cents and then I drove some more. I was in Missouri past St. Louis and honestly seeing the arch lit up at night was really cool and really pretty but the traffic over there was awful and I already don't like driving at night as is but we kept going and now I'm at another Love's gas station for the night. I wanted to fill up my tank before I went to bed but their pumps aren't working the guy was on the phone with someone trying to get their system running so i'll just have to do that in the morning but i am so tired i'm gonna pass out and i'll see you in the morning i was about to climb up to the front but i just want to show you my view this morning this is it and it looks like the pumps are working i just need to climb up to the front I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then we're gonna fill up the tank and hit the road. It's been a while. The last gas station I paid $27.76 and I also washed my windshield and the water in that bucket smelt like rotten eggs. It was disgusting. My car is disgusting as a whole. I already stopped again. I had three miles until my car was completely empty. So we made it just in a nick of time. I was kind of hoping I could make it to Bucky's, but that wasn't gonna happen 
so I stopped at this Love's. It's 32.17. I finally made it to Bucky's. Driving through Nashville, Chattanooga, and Atlanta, a hot mess. It was 100% California traffic. It was awful. I had little pockets here and there, and then once I was getting on the other side of Atlanta, it was starting to get more consistent. But seeing the traffic going into Atlanta, insane. But I already filled up, and it was 26.95, and now I'm parked on the back side of Bucky's, and we're gonna go in and get some dinner. It was crazy busy in there. I mean, it's 9 p.m. on a Friday night. Insanely packed. That's exactly why I parked in the back. They have Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, you name it, it's out. They have a bunch of shirts, but I just wanted to show you these ones specifically because they're hilarious sayings. It also has some really cute Christian apparel, and then there was a notebook. That was super cute, and I was thinking of getting, but it was $15, and I was like, I have a notebook, but that was super stinking cute but i just walked around the craziness and then i was like i need to get out of here there's too many people i can't do it anymore i got a strawberry lemonade which i've never had the bucky strawberry lemonade and it's really good i also got a bag of the kettle chips a chopped brisket sandwich and of course i had to get dessert so i got the milk chocolate caramel bucky's it's the size of a hockey puck. They're really good. The total for this was $16.37. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna drive for another hour or two and call it good. I am looking rough this morning, but I officially made it to Florida last night. And yes, I'm in the same outfit as yesterday. This is my morning view. Are we shocked that it's another loves? I technically still have two to three hours till my final destination in Florida but I'm not gonna let you know where that is just because I'm gonna be there for a week and you're gonna see this video and then I'm there. Anyways, I need to edit this entire YouTube video because today is officially Saturday and tomorrow's Sunday and that's my posting day. Hopefully there's a library. If not, I'm just gonna go inside of a Starbucks and start editing. I'm just gonna wear the same thing. I would end the video here, but I don't know what the total is for how much I spent from Northern Idaho to Florida, so I need to edit and calculate that up. Well, this is gonna be be my last clip everything is edited i calculated my grand total and i did get a car wash today so i'm gonna add that price in it was eight dollars and i found a touch free one which is pretty rare but i was so nervous to go inside this one because it was run down here's the before of my car and here's the after so there's still bugs but it looks a lot better than it did this next week i will be volunteering so i'll stay put for a while so I won't be going through that gas money like crazy. Eating wise, I am gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow. Gonna try my best not to eat out but I am also kind of cherishing my time of eating out and eating junk because in November I am going to be doing an animal based diet and I'm also going to be doing 75 hard. I have been slacking very much on my health and that also just comes with the cost of traveling least when you're living out of your vehicle. It's truly hard when you don't have a kitchen. I mean, I can make all the excuses I want, but I wish I could have is just a kitchen. And by that, I mean a stove that's already out, a mini little sink, and a refrigerator. That's all I could ask for. With that being said, the grand total was $404.97. Crazy. Since I've done Arizona and Florida before, and I will be going back to Arizona, it does not compare to the drive from Idaho to Florida. That was brutal, especially the last little bit. The 80 I thought was crazy, but the 24 and 75... Yeah, that's all I can say. Anyways, be sure to like and comment, and for this next week, I'm volunteering! <laughs>